family, we are not really a family that follows football like it's the normal thing in Spain. It's difficult to find a family that don't really pay attention on football and that, that was my case. So I, I didn't have any pressure or any influence to be fan of any team. But my uh, grandpa, he was an Atletico fan, a, a really good one. I was uh, with him all the time watching games and going into the, into the bars to, to watch the football because at that time there was nothing TV or even listening in the radio. And I started to feel that passion that he was talking me about. And when I, when I was a kid, everybody in my class and my school they were supporting Real Madrid. It was the, the normal thing at that time. And it's a way of uh, rebelry, just to, to say, OK, I'm not, like, I, I'm not like the other. I'm not going to support the, the easy way, the team who always win. I want to be in the side of the, the, the small teams, of the teams who want to fight, and that we are not so many, but we are good enough to fight you, and to face you, and to try to, to win things in the difficult way. And this is the way I start supporting and playing for Atletico. And then when I was 10, I get into Atletico Madrid Academy and everything was good until now. When I played my first game, they were in second division, a difficult, very difficult time for the club. Uh, they went down to second division and when one of the top teams in the country go down to second division, it's a big crisis, many critics, and then I start playing and we could go back to first division. And then a few years of transition, which were not easy because the club was not... You have a big name and big expectations, but the reality is different. You don't have the money to compete with the big ones, you don't have the squad, you don't have the players, but the people, they push you the way like if you are one of the top teams because you have the name. Scoring in that game uh, was a, a release for me as well because I, I played two, two, three, four seasons and I couldn't score against them. Well, we couldn't score against them. For, for Real Madrid, it was easy at that time to beat Atletico. So it was a, a release and uh, uh, was a, a great goal. At the end, we draw that game. We score the second, the 2 0. The referee disallowed the goal. I don't know why still. And then they score at the end, and it was the same story as than always. We try, we were close, but we couldn't win. And with the years, the same situation happened. So it's always nice scoring the derby because you know you don't score only for yourself or for your team. You score for the fans. It's the way they can go the day after to work and feel proud of. Okay, we are not as big as you, but we beat you. So we can face you with less things, with more difficulties, but we can do it. I think it's going to be a great match. Two very good teams who are trying to, to win this competition in the last few years, playing some finals and, and didn't get the, the trophy at the end. So I'm sure the players and, and owners and obviously supporters are really keen to, to go back to the final and, and finally win it.